Hello everybody, I'm Rodion from Stimulsoft. In this video I will show you how to automate an export report and send the result by email using scheduler in the report designer. Open or create a report in the report designer. Click the preview to show your report. This report will be exported and sent by email using the viewer command, but I'm automating these processes. Click the File menu and select the Schedule command. Click the New Scheduler. I'm creating Once Scheduler. The name parameter allows you to change scheduler name. The description parameter allows you to specify an additional text or a note of scheduler. The Enabled parameter allows you to enable or disable this scheduler. At first, you should select scheduler type. In addition, I can change scheduler type in the editor using the type parameter. The days of week parameter allows you to define days of week when the scheduler will be run. The run at time parameter allows you to specify date and time to run the scheduler. Common parameter may vary depending on a scheduler type. The run at day parameter allows you to define specific dates when the scheduler will be run. The run at month parameter allows you to define months when the scheduler will be run. The run every parameter allows you to specify loops count when the scheduler will be run. Click the more options to show additional settings. The repeat task every parameter allows you to define additional loop of the scheduler run. You can define behavior to stop the scheduler when scheduler additional loop will be run. You can specify the delay of task, stop task and expire date of scheduler. Click the Actions tab in the Scheduler editor. Click the new action to add a new task. One scheduler may have up to 15 actions. The Run Report action allows you to export a report to a specific document. You should define a report. If this report contains parameters, you can send them. You should set the destination of result. The result type parameter allows you to select document type to export your report. The result name parameter allows you to define the name of result. Also, you can define behavior for the result document. It will be overridden or create some new copies. Add the send email action. This action contains necessary fields, such as to for specifying recipients. Also, you can specify a subject and message of email. In the Files field, you can attach a rendered report. Please note that you can attach a few files. Click the Save to create a scheduler. All schedulers are shown on the tab of the Files menu. And this tab contains toolbar with commands for controlling schedulers. The Edit command allows you to change selected scheduler settings. The Delete command allows you to delete selected schedulers from the scheduler list. The Run command allows you to run a selected scheduler. The View Details command allows you to show logs of a selected scheduler. Also, logs will be saved to a file. Additionally, you can use the Open Windows Task Scheduler Manager. You can look and check the loop of your scheduler's run here.
the context menu contains double case of toolbar commands. Thanks for watching. Follow the news on our social networks and subscribe to the video channel. If you still have any questions, leave your comments below or send us a request to support at Have a good one.